Okay, judges, that's Vinay. What is the commonality between soft drinks and oil? With the new, in, with the new tec technological invention of shale oil, the whole business of oil drilling becomes a bit more like manufacturing drinks. Whenever the world is thirst thirsty, you crank up the boiling plants. However, the eyebrow-raising question that I'm faced with today is whether gas prices will continue to remain low. And the answer is the most definite yes for three main reasons. First, shale oil, the reason why gas prices are low in the first place, can be built and operated at lower costs. Second, the major the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, has no intention of slowing down the production rates. And last, falling oil demand is evident, primarily because of more energy efficient vehicles and economic slowdown in Europe and Asia. First, fracking is a process in which a mixture of water, sand, and chemicals is injected into shell formations to release oil. This is a relatively new technology, and it's making big gains in efficiency. America's ExxonMobil and Russia's Rosneft recently spent two months and $700 million on one single well in the Kara Sea, north of Siberia. Although they found oil, developing it will, will take years and cost billions. On the contrary, a shale oil well can be dug in as little as a week as at a cost of $1.5 million. It says an IHS research firm, falling gas prices have been driven by plunging oil prices. Crude traded for below $50 a barrel for the first time in five years last week. And there was a decline of around 50% in the last six months. Many market observers expect oil prices to remain low for the foreseeable future. For instance, Stuart Glickman, head energy equity analysis at S&P Capital IQ, notes, this is not like turning on and off a switch in a factory. Oil wells that start to produce oil in the past two years will continue to do so for the, for the next few years. It's just that new, new wells are going to be drilled less frequently in the near term. Second, OPEC won't rush to cut oil production even if prices fall as low as $40 per barrel, one of the cartel's members said on Sunday, December 14, 2014. Saudi Arabia, the leading member of OPEC, has made it clear that they will tolerate prices in order to, to, to do to shale firms' financiers what fracking does to rocks. Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Qatar, and the United Arab Emirates have, co have a combined savings of $2.5 trillion. Unlike Iran, Nigeria, Venezuela, and Russia, they can afford to be less concerned about falling prices because they have, they have built up a deep, deep financial cushion. At a meeting in Vienna on November 27, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, or OPEC, which controls nearly 40% of the world market, failed to reach an agreement on production curves, sending the price tumbling. Also hard hit are oil exporting countries such as Russia, where oil prices have hit record lows, Nigeria, Iran, and Venezuela. <coughs> And lastly, falling demand for oil due to economic <coughs> slowdowns in Europe and Asia, as well as more fuel-efficient vehicles, are major reasons in the fall in oil prices. As per John Aerosis, the fuel economy in cars has grown 28% since 2007, increased U.S. oil production, which took over Saudi Arabia as the world's largest source of crude last summer is another major factor, as is a strong dollar. In addition, the considerable supply of shale oil and natural gas 
and the extensive investments made to extract it, coupling with an increase in China's investments to increase its domestic supply of oil to meet its, its surging demand, has led to a global glut of energy that simply overmatches world demand at the moment. In conclusion, the plummeting price of oil is still the big, biggest energy story in the world right now. It's bringing back cheap gasoline to the U.S. while wrecking havoc on oil-producing countries like Russia and Venezuela. So the ec economics have changed, but the market will still be subject to, to, market, to political shocks, war in the Middle East, or the overdue implosion of Vladimir Putin's kleptocracy could send the price soaring. But absent such an event, but absent such an event, the oil price is should be less vulnerable to shock or manipulation. Even 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 though the three million extra barrels that the U.S. produces every day is a tiny fraction of the 90 million the world consumes. America's shale is a genuine rival to Saudi Arabia as the world's marginal producer. Thank you.